Hi, this morning I'm in Corpac uh, to take uh, an image of uh, a derelict boat. Um, if any of you know much about Scotland or iconic Scottish photography, and then this is probably one you've come across before. And uh, being as I'm in this part of the world, um, I couldn't resist uh, coming along and uh, having a go in, taking an image. It's uh, fairly late on in the morning, so the light's not brilliant, um, but I am passing by on my way here to another location. Um, my plan, well, I had planned in to come and do this now, but I've also got the possibility of coming back a bit later, uh, depending on how the weather holds up, and uh, to try and get a sunset, sunset shot because um, the sun's going to be in the right direction. It all depends on say, how the weather goes for the rest of the day and how I get on at uh, my other locations. Uh, but just for now, I'm out in the sun. Um, it's quite nice and warm. There's hardly any breeze and uh, it's really nice and peaceful out here. Uh, except for possibly that dog you can hear barking in the background, or maybe not. Um, but I'm going to get on, get a few images, and then I'm uh, moving on to my next location. I've now come down onto the shoreline, uh, just trying to find myself a, a different perspective, a different composition. I'm probably going to get a bit closer to the boat so that uh, we can cut out some of the buildings that were behind it in my last composition. I can already see from here already that the trees and shrubs, um, bushes on the left, have already hidden quite a bit of that. Um, so there are so, still some houses between the trees and the boat. If I angle myself properly, I'll be able to get rid of that. Uh, there's also somebody out either fishing or just having a bit of a kayak. A kayak canoe? Probably a kayak. Uh, let's see if we can get them in the shark. Probably not. But that's how I'm going to get a little bit closer. We're going to get too close because it looks like there's a, a river outlet just coming out into the lock just in front of me. So if I want to get past that, I'm going to have to go back up onto the pathway and uh, I'm assuming there's a bridge to go across uh, so I have seen people near the boat uh, just over on the other side right, so I'm just going to get myself set up and uh, show you what I've come up with right, so I've come right up to the river outlet and um, I found myself composition as you can see on screen a uh, bit tricky considering the lighting conditions because it is very bright um, where the water is and obviously the skies above the mountains so I'm having to bracket my exposures um, so I can blend them later in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop and uh, hopefully get a, a balanced image. Um, I'm probably going to take a bracket range of about seven give me more choice um, more range to play with as I blend them. Uh, it may be that the uh, Lightroom blends them quite nicely itself, but 
it might not. So give myself as much um, as many, or sorry, rather as many options as possible uh, with regards to the exposure levels across the uh, the whole of the image. Uh, got a feeling with all the, the clouds that are coming in, I'm possibly not going to come back tonight. Um, one, say so the, the, the weather's not looking too good at the moment and everything seems to be getting worse. I wouldn't be surprised if it rained fairly soon, despite all the sunshine. But also, uh, once I move on, it's a, a bit of a trek back. Um, but you never know, things might change. I may change my mind. <sighs> I've seen quite a few... Uh, images of this boat and uh, most of them have been done at I think a sunset uh, which is mostly lit up the mountain in the background I don't know what the mountain is um, but yeah it's usually at the top of the mountain but as you see the light at the moment is actually lighting up that mountain quite nicely at the moment so hopefully with a bit of uh, blending of some different exposures I should be able to make quite a nice image out of this uh, including these people that are about to walk into my frame um, and then I've already taken some inches and I've got plenty of time to wait for them to move out the way. Or I could just wait for a shot for that. <laughs> See which is easier. Okay, I'm all done at Corpac. Uh, nice little party shot of the uh, <laughs> boat there for you. Um, found quite a few nice uh, compositions there, and uh, hopefully they should make some nice images. Just got to get them back into onto the PC and uh, blend some of those exposures. And I say it's quite difficult with the uh, sun being out and uh, really lighting up the clouds and some of the water. But hopefully I should be able to do the image justice at some point and uh, hopefully you'll be seeing them images any second now. Uh, or in a few seconds I should say. Right, I'm now going to go and get a bit of lunch as it is lunchtime and I am very hungry. I've uh, been on the go since about half five this morning and uh, I've still got some uh, locations to go to. I'm uh, heading to Glencoe now. Um, as I drove through there this morning on my way to uh, Glenfin and Viaduct, um, of which you will have seen no, uh, no, <laughs> no vlogging. Uh, it was just absolutely packed full of people. It's ridiculous. There's probably over 100 people there to uh, to uh, see the train goodbye, or to see the Jacobite steam train goodbye. Um, if you ever decide to come and have a look, uh, make sure you check the times uh, for the trains coming from Fort William. So they're the ones that are going to give you the best uh, images. And uh, it's normally about 40 minutes after the train has left, or due to leave the station, that it hits Glenfinnan. So uh, yeah, make sure you have, give yourself plenty of time to get there. I would also recommend that uh, you also get there about an hour before if you want to get a really nice spot because um, it fills up very very quickly. What am I doing with this camera? So I got there about an hour before the train went by, managed to get myself uh, possibly one of the best spots going I think, or at least, at least uh, managed to replicate an image or the, the composition of an image that I've previously seen. Oh, sorry I'm just making sure I'm not walking too far. <laughs> before I can get back up, but no, I'm heading in the right direction. Um, yeah, get there early, give yourself plenty of time to uh, get yourself set up, get your composition set up, and then uh, stake out your pot. Um, for the top tips, make sure you nip to the blue before you go, and uh, if it's cold, uh, make sure you take a drink with you. Uh, it's not too long of a trek to get there, uh, but you will be there a while. All right. Um, 
yes, backtracking myself, I uh, came through Glencoe on the way here this morning and uh, oh, it was absolutely stunning. I can't believe how nice it was. Uh, some of the images I've seen just do not do it justice. Uh, it's absolutely remarkable. Of course, that was a uh, wet, foggy, misty, uh, semi-dry conditions this morning as I went through and it was awesome. Now, obviously, the rain's been away for a bit. I don't know what the conditions are like over there. I'll ask if you can see behind me, if I can get the camera going. Glencoe is roughly behind me. And there's still lots of clouds in the mountains, so hopefully the conditions shouldn't be too bad. Um, but I do have leeway in my uh, location visits to be able to come back and uh, possibly do that revisit Glencoe tomorrow morning or the morning after uh, depending on the weather conditions if it's not right when I go back go there a little bit later this afternoon um, but here's hoping <laughs> all right so I'm going to crack on and go and grab some lunch I'm starving and I'll uh, see you in Glencoe <laughs>